All right, so now I need to unhook this one. Right? I think I do. All right, boys, it's hot up here. It's 60s. It's just incredible. It's just a one o'clock. I'd be amazed if I'm done with this project by three. It's always a project. Wow. Yikes. This is the project. This one right here. This will be the project. All right. Try it all over again. Here I go again. Golly, man. Talk about a workout. I mean, I've just begun. Yikes. Here we go again. Put my foot in. To here. Put your foot in there. Put your foot in there. And then you got to literally just pull yourself under. Like, uh, yeah. Wow. Ugh. And try to get <laughs> my foot, right foot. Oh my gosh. Woo. All right. That, that helps she starts. trailer the trailer wants to do a wheelie and that would not be good need to have cameras wish I had cameras up front huh. this is where the Tesla idea would be perfect now concern is this yard is very soft it'll be a fiasco if this thing gets stuck in this yard I ain't lying that'll be bad thank God we haven't had too much rain let's see what happens here little nerve-wracking because I can tell how soft the ground is. Yeah. All right. Good news is I'm moving. I'm moving. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll have to park this, like, over here. I'll run out, I'll run out of room now, all my cars, I'm being everywhere. Probably smartest thing to do is put this thing up in front of the house. Maybe. Not yet. Yep, now I take my boots off. Look at this. I mean, if you're a real big guy, how do you do this stuff? I mean, sincerely, how do you do it? Oh my goodness. So, here, see here, I got my freaking. Uh, hey, Marie, there's my spider buddy from last night. I oh, can't believe he's still hanging out. I can't do this. Yep, so here you go. All right, I'm going to plug all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> wow yeah imagine key was in this car right now i'd be like oh my god oh you know what i gotta do i saw he screwed up i gotta climb his car take the damn battery thing stuff off oh my god all right step one okay or step two i just hooked up the uh, truck to the uh, trailer so that this thing doesn't fall backwards you got to tight these things are man it's just so nerve-wracking so i just got the truck set up here so that when i back out it won't flip backwards but you know what if anybody's ever done this stuff <laughs> yeah okay this this turns to nascar time how do you get in this car i mean sincerely how do you get in the car and so i literally just have to take this thing straight on back 
saying you're, when you do this by yourself, very challenging without scraping your wheels. Because that's what can happen. And, uh, wow. Yeah, so look here. <laughs> so to get in this, this car right now, I literally got to just crawl. You know, it's like a NASCAR thing. See here? I'm going to have to put myself in. <laughs> get my other foot in. Ugh. If you haven't done your calisthenic lately, uh, good luck. Yeah. Big time good luck. Let me put my phone down. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Ice Age TV. Part two of my traveling day. Part one, I guess you should say, after I had my uh, first video this morning. And channel, and gee whiz, what I do to myself in this physical world, why do I do it? The pain and suffering and the, the fun and enjoyment. But here's what's going on. So I finally came to closure of what I'm going to do. And a brand new Ford F-150 Power Boost truck here. I really want to do a tow review video on this truck. But I think I'm going to push it a little further this time. Because I was going to do my 20-foot car hauler review. Which I've had my F-150 Tremor truck tow with. And my F-350 Godzilla truck tow. This is where I'm kind of getting into uncharted territory. And I'm even question myself even on this this is a lot of trailer here's a 28 foot trailer that I had custom built for me and I haven't used it uh in the last huh I can't I don't know it's probably been a good year plus and so I'm trying to accomplish some things here and I'll make sure you I'm trying to accomplish what I'm trying to do is get my Mustangs down to well look at this here this truck senses me around it and it automatically starts opening up the uh the steps yeah so i've got a project here i mean a real project i mean i don't even know i'm just crazy to even do it here's the ball game i've got some indian motorcycles stuffed back here behind my charger hellcat and uh for the record it's uh the day is passing. <laughs> so I've got Indian motorcycles back there. So if I do what I want to do, I'm going to have to get that this car here out of the shop, which means i got to get this out of the shop, okay? Which means i got to get this out of the shop. That's just to get the motorcycles out. Then, the next thing i got to do, I mean, this is why, I don't know, because I'm sitting here talking about this, I'm thinking, I'm just crazy. Is it really worth it? I don't know. This would be a Tristan in a three hour plus project. Okay. So now didn't even grab, grab the right damn key. So here's the next project is I got to get my GT500 out of my, uh, I don't even know what key to use. I got to get my GT500 out of this vehicle, out of this trailer here. So that's, you know, this here. What I'm thinking here, I'm going to let the daughter drive this car down. I don't have really a problem with this car going over the road, per se. It's more the, uh, this isn't the carbon fiber track setup. So, i got to get this vehicle out of this trailer. Okay. But, then I have another GT500 over here that i got to get out. Not even grabbing Dan. So, my goal is, I'm trying to free up some space up here. And I want to take some stuff down to Tennessee and have my toys down in Tennessee as well. So to accomplish that, it's a major, uh, it's a major project because now what I got to do here is I got a bunch of junk in this freaking trailer, which all the accumulation of junk, it just doesn't end. But see, for me, I've never towed this heavy a trailer on a, a, a half ton truck. And usually it just squats the truck so much and pushes the truck down the road so much. I don't like it. I just love my F-150, uh. I just love my F-150 power boost so much that I really do want to take that vehicle. I haven't used this trailer. So here's my RGT 500s. Here's my dilemma. I'm going to have to get all this stuff out of this trailer so I can get my motorcycles up here. I can put my Indian motorcycles up. I can put my Indian motorcycles up here. And then I'll bring my car back in. So I can get the car out. Then I get to get all this stuff out of this trailer, which that's, this is a project. This that damn thing there is a freaking, oh my gosh, back-breaking day. Oh, and the end of the day for what? 
I don't know, man. It just doesn't end. So, uh, anyways, that's what I think I'm going to do. I don't know. <laughs> Does it play out that way? I need to get my freaking back support thing for this project. But the first thing is, I got to get the GT500 out of this. And I'm going to have to hook it up so that the, uh, the trailer doesn't flip backwards on me. Now, the dogs are free roaming, so this sucks. But anyways, follow me on C F-150 Power Boost Tow Review Tow Day with 28 foot. I'm so, I'm so just aggravated. I damaged this one panel, and the freaking guys that replaced it didn't match the damn right color. I mean, uh, it just doesn't end, right? And this side here is trash. Look at that. Look at all the bird crap. All right, let me get going here. There's a lot going on, right? And back here, danger back here is the ground is really soft. This is really soft. And does my does my GT500, if I pull it out right here, does it get stuck in the grass? <laughs> so I'd be like, no way. <laughs> yeah, I've had my stories. All right, let's see what we can accomplish here. All right. Here we go now. I'm hooking up this trailer. See, isn't it so cool? Today's technology, just incredible. What you can do on your own. And I'm off on that by a little bit. And that's the trailer's so heavy. There's no way that I'm gonna. If I don't get this lined up just right, there's no way I'm gonna be able to move that thing. It's got all that gear in it. Look at that there. Nope. I'm still off. Am I? No, I'm right there. All right. This thing here. Hear that noise? That's just like the uh, Ford Lightning truck. He has free to that. Look at that. Too damn close. All right. Back to the truck. And this thing won't move the door open all the technology now. You can't. Uh, it won't do it, you know. All technology. You can't move the truck. And now the truck's running because the battery, this battery is right now. This will be a two-hand thing here. All right. Now the concern is with this here. How far? See, I have the the, the ball kind of drop down a little bit. How much is going to squat this truck? Do I need to have a straighter bar? All right, we're making headway. And I'm going to pull her out now and try to get her up in the gravel. So that plays out. But you know what I didn't do? I'm already befuddled here. You got to get this out. Hello. All right. Hello. Yeah, that's nice. It, oh, well. All right. Well, this will add time to the day. I need to add a new trailer. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing pulled up before I start doing all that. But that damn trailer's going to drag. I already know that. No, it didn't there. I'm surprised. See, there it is. See, it's dragging. Hear it? I hate that. It's the way my driveway is designed. It's like the worst. This thing's so crazy. The electric, the electric's running this thing right now. This electric brake, this electric thing, it's so cool. So what I gotta do is I gotta get this trailer. See what's so nice about these trailer? This here, this is what I love about this setup in this truck. Look, so I can pull these, push these out. So it gives you a, a huge line. See, it's that right hand side that'll get you. And just having the capability, see here, of you know, getting those way out. That's huge. But now I gotta get this thing straight. I gotta get this thing straightened out to be able to get all the correct. Measurements, but I gotta get the car out. So that's the next project. Yeah, I lost my hat. <laughs> Alright, so this is so cool. Alright, I just named the trailer United Car Hauler. Okay, trailer type. Uh, conventional. Okay. 
Not a gooseneck. Okay. Trailer name. Save. Okay. Continue to set up. Yes. Now default. Yep. Correct. Now trailer. Definitely want it to be medium. Okay. Length. We gotta go measure the link. That's it. The link. That's what we're gonna do right now. So get my tape measure and do that. Okay. So there you go. You can already see how the trailer has got a lot of weight up front. So I don't even have my motorcycles up front. So I'm totally gonna have to put that other style. Uh, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reverse this because this truck's gonna squat. What's so interesting here is. This thing's not squatting too bad yet, but the motorcycles will change all that. But this thing, like my other trucks, that the Raptor, they squat like crazy. All right, let's get the tape measure here. All right, the trailer's 30 foot. Okay. Width is eight and a half. Height. Do the height. All right, height's about nine foot. Let's go here. Whoops. No, no, no. Whoops. All right. Weight, it's about a 12,000 pound trailer. Enter. Okay. There it is. Three foot, eight and a half, height nine. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, trailer, trailer trip, pro back assist. Okay, cool, all right. So I think for the moment, we've got this thing kind of set up. What is that there, I wonder? Huh. Okay. All right, ready, pro back. And then here is our power inputs, okay? So you're on our gains. This trailer here, you're probably 10. That'd be my guess. All right, there you go. That's gonna change. All right, so now, let me get the other car out of the uh, trail. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. And do I have the keys? I think I do. But yeah, I'm gonna have to change out that that there because there's way too much, the way it's loaded right now, too much in the front end here. That's gonna be challenging. So. What I do with my key, all right, here it is. So what's pretty cool about this trailer here is I have the uh, suicide door, okay? So this is really nice. See here? So I can get in here on the side of the car. Isn't that nice? That's a big difference. And I'm sure some people are like, why don't you just drive the Mustangs down? Eh, because I'm going to get my other uh, motorcycles down there as well. So I'd rather do that. So let's get this here. All right, so now this car here, this trailer here is a little wider. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's incredible how that trailer back there is just a little narrower. So here we go again, climbing the car. But I gotta take the, uh, I gotta unplug that stuff up front, duh. I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, you know, so this is a classic. The suicide door, I mean, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, what do you accomplish? I can't open this door. It hits this, the inner fender wells. So I still have to climb in to this car. And yeah, here we go again. All right, I'm in the car. And how many miles does this thing have on it? 88 miles. I was saying 78. Chassis number. And I've barely driven this car. Pretty incredible. I've, I've even driven this thing put home from the dealership and their car show since last summer. These, these Mustangs are just so much fun. Hear that exhaust? This is a factory exhaust. Yeah, don't hit those carbon fiber wheels. Gotta go back home. These 
brakes are just like wow. Woo. The challenge is putting his car back in here. I'll have to have my kid here to help me get it back in. Very, very, very challenging. See over here, you got these cables and so I gotta keep these mirrors pulled in. So now it's such an angle, possibly this front clip is gonna drag a little bit. Maybe. So you do this stuff, it's nerve wracking. I mean, anybody that moves cars around, these guys got this stuff down to a T. And you kind of then come to understand more about their talents because uh, it, it's definitely a talent to do what I'm doing <laughs> without damaging your car. I mean, it's, you know, it's, anybody race goes to racetrack and tracks their cars, they know this stuff here. Oh my gosh! So I'm spinning. I'm spinning. The car can't get up this area here. It's really spinning. What the hell? That's crazy. Yeah, listen to that. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh my goodness. What am I doing, right? Am I crazy? I know. I'm crazy. I don't disagree. Anybody follows my channel, like, dude, just drive a car to Tennessee. You have a dual up. Yeah, I know. I think you're right, but I don't want to take my other motorcycles down, have them down there. And this is the type of car. You got these freaking carbon fiber wheels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got the warranty on them. That's four thousand dollars. I imagine they're now five or six thousand dollars. They were four thousand dollars pre-pandemic. So here's this car. I mean, is this just a badass car or what? I mean, I think I'm just sorry. This car here, wow. Would somebody pay me two hundred grand for it? I don't know why they wouldn't. You know, then you look at this GT five hundred, same car, but not the track pack. But I mean, this is so more subtle compared to GT five hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now, here's my challenge. I got all this crap up here. So why am I going to put all this crap? Anybody want an exercise bike? Anybody want an ex exercise treadmill? You know, see, this is where the this is where the project begins. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the dogs are going nuts. Just so stop it. I just got the gator out. So I took the gator out. Now I think it's time to go chase the gator. All right, now time to get the Hellcat out. A plastic cover off this bad boy. I really like this cover. It's so cool because you can just see the whole car and everything. It's pretty neat. You know what I mean? Take my way here, slowly but surely. Look the car. I should take the Hellcats. Part of me is like, take the Hellcats down. That's what I was thinking about last night as well. All right, here we go again. And just forgot about the battery tender. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this one more time. No, I good. snowy weather i'm screwed and i wish the guy would have thrown the damn original pirellis he probably did burnouts in him this thing and just trashed them that'd be my guess but yeah i mean taking this to tennessee we sincerely considered that that was a huge option on the table for me to consider and uh if i just came to closure i'd rather do what i'm doing how about that idea and believe it or not, I did call some dealerships. I called a bunch of dealerships and tire places to find out if they had any 305, I think 35, 20 Pirelli trash season, all season tires. And nope, nobody has. <laughs> nobody has. Even local Dodge dealer didn't have. I'm like, you're kidding me. Oh, that's such a common tire, Paul. The uh, first, so no. So this is the Neato track tire, so no way. If I go to Tennessee, and they're saying maybe on Sunday, maybe cold and rain. I think this car would be all over the road. He'd be in the ditch. It's not designed to 
could be driven down the road. Look at these cars here. There's a limited time we can drive these cars down there. All right, now I gotta push the trailer back up and I gotta start getting stuff out of here and get the motorcycles out of there. Actually, I guess, I guess I should go ahead. Eh, let me do this first. Let me get the trailer backed up closer. All right, now the fun begins. What I'm gonna do, what I've learned if you've gotten older in life, get yourself a freaking wrap for your, around your body for lifting heavy stuff. Is this stuff here? Not radical, but just a pain in the butt. All right, here we go. All right. Oh my gosh. It's just beyond believable. The crap that you accumulate, all the crap. Yeah, does anybody remember where that came from? Yeah, it came from an F450 truck I bought last summer and put that on the truck and the kid doesn't like it. The fitness equipment, you can't get that stuff away. I'm not lying to you. If you go to a place that buys equipment to sell it, they won't take it. It's just trash. Just throw it away. Yeah, unbelievable. All right, so get all the stuff out of there now. I gotta get my chalks. I have four chalks between three trailers. I should have just bought two more because what I have to do, I'm constantly taking chalks out from one trailer to another trailer. So this trailer now becomes an next storage area. <laughs> Maybe have these stories in life. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a little bit of a project. All right, so these these condors, they uh, the first thing you do is take this rear one out, get out of the way, get this out of the way. There's your screws. See all these screws, wing nuts. They come out, and then each trailer has these pre-mounted um, bars. So you can just slide this out, and it goes to the next trailer. This here. Goes the next trailer, and there you go. So I just take this here and I go over the other one. All right, now we're in the bigger trailer here, same thing, and we just line this up all the way against the wall. See here, and go. See here, it lines up right there. And zip zap and you're done. Screw them in. Put it all together. This trailer is more challenging because everything's jammed up against the wall. And it has to be has to be jammed up because otherwise I can't get the car to fit. See, I, I got a 30-foot trailer. This is really 28, but with the tongue, it's 30. And I didn't want a 30 foot because that'd be 32, 32 would be 34. It's just where I'm having to park these trailers. And plus, it becomes to be a lot of trailer. All right, this is two-handed. All right, now, time to load the first motorcycle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to load the bike on the left, smaller bike on the left. Because the bike on the right, I can get to it easier to work on it. All right, what's underneath here, right? What, what's the magical thing under here? What's hiding? Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ, <laughs> too much work. All for the enjoyment, right? So just one bike. This is a major project right here, trying to figure out how to strap this. Being so close to this wall this is the worst setup. It's terrible. All right, I think I'm gonna redo my hitch setup here because I don't really want all that weight. So I'm just gonna go straight bar. That's how that all plays out. Hey, how about that? I got help. Kids earlier, home earlier than I thought. That's, that helps out a lot, yeah. So, yeah, this is looking a little better, but I don't think it's, I don't know. Very debatable. When you look at this uh, setup here, very debatable. Once I load my car up and everything, man, it just seems like things walk on that front end, but here she comes. Getting everything ready to go. You're just in time to help me out. What? Uh, you're driving that. I'm loading up the Indians, and I'm going to unload up the uh, Heritage. Well, you'll be driving that car right there. What do you think of that idea? Look at, this. Look at the truck. 
She just loves that F450. All about the truck. All right, we're down to the last bike to load. And yeah, it takes two hands to do this stuff. No Harley riding this time, but I don't think we ride motorcycles. That's this is just getting more space in my garage. I got two other so it's somewhat may what you may not think about is I have two motorcycles on floor. So when I bring those back up, where are they going? Where that where are I gonna put them? <laughs> hey, just start selling stuff, would you? Yeah, probably a good idea, but why do I do that? All right, let's start this bad boy up. How about that, huh? All right, coming out home stretch. Tell you, the biggest time consuming of these bikes is figuring out where you strap them. And every trailer of mine is set up a little different. So it's very challenging on how to make this work. Some people are like, oh, it's, it's like, no, but I have three different trailers. And the chocks are all different positions. Very challenging. So just aggravating. And this trailer here, see the car, that GT500 is going to literally come right up. I mean, it'll be like right here. It'll be like right here on this back tire to get it loaded correctly. All right. Continue on the project. 2.30. 2.30. So it'll be 3 o'clock, 3.30 for I mean done. I mean, we got here till 4 o'clock probably. It's not moving. Oh, I got it. Push forward. There you go. Lift it off the back. All right. Now we're in the home stretch. Bikes are strapped. You didn't take that one out. It's not coming out, but it's okay. It's always the end. I'm not really worried about that. So now you got to get everything here. Gotta get all these straps here out of the way. So we gotta bring the car in. Then we gotta figure out how we get this all lined up. So now, we're gonna get the car straightened out. Figures the charger's in the damn way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just doesn't end. Doesn't end. But the biggest thing is, probably gonna have to move the trailer up. This is too much of an angle. That front clips in its drag. So we're gonna have to pick the uh, whole, you have to close the trailer up. I don't have to pull a truck way up so it's more level in the driveway. All right, this is interesting. So right now, the bike's got a lot, the trailer's got a lot of weight in that front tongue. So I'm gonna get the car pulled in. I think it's gonna be worse. I'm gonna pull the trailer up. That means you're gonna have to Look, take the close to three o'clock, I tell you. Uh, I've done this too many times in my life. To go have fun in life, work. It's a lot of work. Oh my goodness gracious. No. I dropped my thing. All right, let's see if we're making any progress here. So now it's time to load the Heritage GT500. The kid knows this program, which has got to direct me in so I don't hit things. See what the nice thing about this trailer? Huge difference in this trailer here from that sort over there where the charger's parked. This has a little better material. Still, it's rubbery. But then in the sides here this are carpeted. Okay. Carpet, yeah, we'll close it, please. They're carpeted, and uh, so if you did rub your wheel up against it, maybe it's not as bad. The other one's total metal, and then it's a linoleum floor. <laughs> so on a rainy day, I guess past winter, this past like November, I put these cars in these trailers. I couldn't get them in the trailers. The tires are spinning and the cars are going sideways. Yeah. It's like late October, early November. And I freaking put these cars in these both these trailers and they wouldn't get in. I mean, it was ridiculous. Because they were spinning on those ramps. Because the tires were so cold. I had to go up down the street and warm cars up. And do burnouts. Or did I? <laughs> oh, right. Let's... Don't hit the box, right? Get the brake off. Hit our gear. Okay. So to me, I don't drive these cars enough. I think my GT500 over there has the same thing. This car's like spinning out. It's, it's like the car is so stiff 
the car's suspension is twisted. It's just crazy. Here's the kid. And see, during this winter time, I tried to do this and uh, the back end started spinning once I got up on that. Back up? Yeah, back up. So I'm just too far over Got to the right. Le left, you mean. Oh, there we go. I knew it. God damn it. It's, it's just so active. These guys are stupid asses. These guys that build these trailers, you're dumb asses, man. You're stupid. You design a trailer with a rubber floor. It is so aggravating beyond believable beyond believable dumbasses i mean how do people go to work every day i'm just telling you i'm gonna go left you gotta am i straight you gotta tell me if this thing doesn't get a running momentum here the car goes sideways Oh, we won't be able to do it. Just maddening. It's that tight. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, look at the back. What's the back like? You're good. Can I go back further? Hey! Right. Can I go back further? A little. We want the weight in the back. There's too much. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. You're sure? Go outside. Go outside. Look at the trailer. Is the trailer level, or does it have top on the top tongue? Uh, See, I'm trying to get the weight to pull back. It's a little top heavy in the front. It's top heavy, but you cannot go back any further. But is there like a how much room is in the back? Like this. How much room's up front? So I don't want. Should I go up another few feet or another uh, like six inches? It's top heavy. Yeah, I know, but once I got a car, it's a pain to ask get back in it. I know. Um, we need to have at least a foot, at least in that back area, at least. Then you're, okay, then you need to go up more. Let me that looks so tight. Just a little bit more, just because. I just think we. I just. All right. Let's see. She said. I think that's probably pretty good. How's that? Uh, you can come a yeah, but now I'm gonna be able to get up there and work around. How much room right now? Can you stand between the bikes? Hey, what? can you stand between the car and the bikes? Okay. What are your thoughts? We want at least a foot, at least up front, and at least a foot in the back. This is tight. Huh? It's tight. Yeah, but up front. Right now, you're like perfect. Like you're in the middle. Yeah. Your dad, let me tell you. There you are. All right, let me crawl out. But let me check the back. Well, I pulled it up. You're fine. I moved it up while you were walking around. I know. Yeah. I think we're good. Boo-boo is right where your door is. 
Hi, booby. Don't jump up. <laughs> Don't jump up. What are you doing? All right, let's see how good we did. And this is now the tricky part of getting these straps down. All right. Come on, hurry. Well, I'm jammed. Lift your foot up the other. Yeah, right. So tight. Ooh, this is tight up here, but hope for the best. Yeah, this is really tight. I told you. I gotta look in the back. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Let's see how this freaking looks. Eh, all right, yeah. I guess that's about as good as you're gonna get. What do you think? Yeah, the danger is this thing goes back a little too far and rubbing up against this. That's you know, area. what I was worried about. I think what we'll do is we'll use we'll do the back first. So we're pulling it backwards instead of frontwards. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so that's what you do here. You take this is pretty cool. You take these up. I can't really. It's tight here, so sorry for me. Watch my video. But you take these and you get them inside here in these tires. And you get them in the grooves here. See how little groove things right here. And you try to position this. Then you got to take this up here, and this is so tight. I don't know how to get to that. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, so now we finally got the strap on. Yep, that was just one. We got three to go. Yeah. I said at best we'll leave her at four o'clock today. At best. All right, this is going to be very challenging too. Here we go. All right. <laughs> we just got the back. What a, what a joke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sure, some of you are like, why don't you take the ram? I'll disagree, but I love that power boost. All right, here we go again. You're a weirdo. They're taking the F1. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a project. I got her, but just nerve wracking. Right you know, I hate this stuff. Technology can just drive you nuts. Oh my gosh. Project. Wow, Skr. There it is. She's packed and ready. Now I gotta go pack my bags, and here it is already like 4 o'clock, so it'll be 4.30. At best we get out of here, but oh well. There go the dogs chasing somebody on the street, I bet you. Okay, stay tuned for the power boost full blown. I would say this is 10,000 pounds. We've got a 4,500, we'll just say a 5,000 pound car. Got a 4,000 pound trailer. We got another about 1,500. Yeah, we're at 10, 5, 11. That's what I'd say in the truck. I'd definitely say 10, 5. 